Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. Today we're going to talk about one of the most useful third-party tools for DDO, and that is the Character Builder. And in this video, we're going to walk through and just I'll show you some of the basic things you can do with the Character Builder, and we'll talk about some of the benefits of using it and why you should use it. So there's a variety of Character Builders that have been created by various players. This is not a a, a um, is not an application that's been created by the actual developers of the game. These are applications that have been created by players. So the one I'm using right now is called Matrum's DDO Character Planner, and it was made by Matrum of Caneth. This is the best one I've come across, and I will link it below in the description so you can download it for yourself. It's free to download, and also with the download, there's also a manual that uh, Matrum has created. Um, to help you just show you every little thing you can do in the builder but but I'm gonna give you kind of a basic overview and we're gonna talk about some things you can do with it so number one the first reason you want to use a character builder and I think it's really useful for every type of player is it helps you plan out your build obviously with a character builder what you can do as you can see on screen here is you work level by level and you can level up your character in the builder just as you would in a game uh, you can start out you Pick your stats just like you would in a game. You set all kinds of different parameters like what tomes you have, what your ability increases are going to be when you level up, uh, your past lies as you can see in the bottom left hand corner here. My face is covering it up, uh, up some of it, but here it, it lists all the different past lies which you can then plug in. And the main benefit of the planner is you build your character in the planner so that you don't mess it up in game. As we all know, building a character in DDO is really complicated and it's very easy to mess up your build. For example, let's say you want to run a two weapon fighting character. Well, if you're running two weapon fight fighting character, you're going to want to take the two weapon fighting feats. So two weapon fighting, improve two weapon fighting, greater two weapon fighting. But there's some prerequisites. For example, greater two weapon fighting has a prerequisite that you have to have 17 de base dexterity. So if you are just uh, not if you not if you not plan out your build and you're just taking the feats as you go in game, you might get to halfway through your character. Like uh, I'm not sure I can't remember off the top of my head when you can take a greater two weapon fighting, but uh, when you get to that level. You, you might screw up and, and realize you can't take that feat because you had not built your character to have 17 base dexterity from the get-go. So by running your character through the builder, you can make sure that you don't mess it up in any way like that. Like you don't mess up any prerequisites. You can make sure that you take your feats in the proper order and you can do all kinds of other things that we're, we're gonna get to in a minute. So that's the first thing you can do. And uh, I will actually load and you can actually save and load builds. So I'm going to load a build I was just Theory crafting with this week, which is by no by no means finished. I'm just playing around with it. This is a uh, single weapon fighting uh, Kensei fighter build that I've been messing around with, uh, ASMR fighter build. So as you can see, I've filled out all the stats I have. So on the left hand side, you can see that you know I've selected my race, my ability score increases, uh, my starting stats, and I've gone through here and I've selected all my levels and feats. So I'm gonna take, it's gonna be a pure fighter. So I'm taking fighter for the first 20 levels, obviously. And you can see I can run through here and take all my feats. So we were talking before about some prerequisites that a lot of feats have in the game. So two weapon fighting, as I was saying, has a, has a requirement of 17 base dexterity. One of the things that uh, you this planner does is it actually does not let you take certain feats if you don't meet the prerequisites so that's all been built in so for example um let's see greater single weapon fighting here i'm right now i'm planning to take this at level 12 and please don't critique this build it's by no means done i just started playing around with it yesterday um it's not optimized yet but uh i let's say i i'm taking single weapon greater single weapon fighting at level 12. One of the prerequisites for the single weapon fighting feats is that you have to have a certain amount of balance. So you have to have seven ranks of balance to take greater single weapon fighting. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the view tab and we're going to go to, uh, we're gonna go to skills. So my skills popped up here and this is what I had planned just um, right, as of right now for my skills for this particular character. So as you can see, I have, I've made sure that I take taken seven ranks of balance so that I can take this greater signal weapon fighting feat. But one of the cool things this this builder does is if I were to drop below that, it will let me know. So right now I've exactly uh, seven ranks filled out. So let's say at level 11, I take away in the skill section a half a point of balance. 
all of a sudden I get a notification that the following feats were revoked as requirements are no, liver, no, no longer met. Uh, greater single weapon fighting. So it has removed single weapon fighting from my feet selection because I no longer meet the prerequisites because I've taken balance away. So that's one, that's I think the best use uh, for uh, for this particular uh, builder is to build your character, put it together, make sure you don't screw anything up because again, it's so easy to screw your character up and uh, unless you've just run the build many, 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 many times, you really need to plan out every single build that you run from start to finish just for this purpose so that you don't mess things up and also it can let you figure out your feet order so a lot of the times this this particular build isn't its feet order is not too important but a lot of times you, you need to take certain feats at a certain time and you want to take certain feats as soon as possible so for example uh, improve critical slashing that's a great melee feat that everyone wants to take on their melee characters so you want to make sure you take that as soon as possible. So by using this builder, you can plug the feats in and get your improved critical slashing uh, basically as early as you can get it. You, you know, you want to get that in as early as you can get it. And you can you can make sure you do that by plugging everything into this builder and playing around with your feed order. So that's great. So um, your and we've already talked about skill points. This builder actually includes pretty much everything you would want uh, for your character. So skill points are included. This also gives you an out of game way to plan out your enhancements and epic destinies uh, points breakdown. So if you really want to tinker with your characters, so you can go to uh, toolbars and we're going to go to enhancements. And I've already plugged these in for this particular character. So as we can see here, my enhancements have popped up for just as of right now when I'm theory crafting with this character. So I can actually go in here out of game. You know, no internet connection needed and play around the skill points and set them to, as to what I want. So you can set all that. Uh, another cool thing is your, let's view toolbars and go to equipment. Um, actually, I had it up there. Let's bring it up. Okay. Um, let's get rid of enhancements real quick. Okay. So gear, equipment. You can also plug in all of your equipment into this uh, into this uh, builder here. So I've already plugged in one piece of armor, but you basically can just click on it here. And it's going to bring up a menu that's going to show all of the different uh, all as far as I'm aware, all the different named items in the game. So you can select one, and you can click equip item, and it's going to go to your character. And the cool thing about this, and, and the, really the useful thing, is that there's a it's also called a breakdown tab. So this is the the other main thing that you want to use this builder for other than planning out builds is evaluating your builds. So this evaluation tab is going to show breakdowns of all your character's stats. So why would you want to know that? Well, as you can see here, it breaks down all your DCs, which are actually extremely important for a lot of builds. So for example, this character, now keep in mind, I haven't plugged in Epic Destinies. I haven't plugged in my gear for this character, but I plugged in some other things, but it's going to show basically all my DCs. So um, right now, my stun DC, which I want a good stun DC for this character, is at 28. Not very good, just again, because I haven't plugged in all the stats. But once you plug in all the stats, you can see what uh, actually your your DC is. So you can also do this for your saves. So like I want to look at my character's reflex saves, fortitude saves. It's going to show that. Uh, abilities, I believe it also, yeah, magical breakdowns. It's going to show your DCs for your different spell schools so you're running a caster and you plug in all your your build your build into this and all your equipment and everything you're going to it's going to calculate your dc for you for really your 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 magic here or for your tactics so for example let's go to just my stun dc and you can see down here on the bottom uh, there's a divider here that breaks out by dc so i can look at my character and i can see oh here's all the different areas uh, where my stun dc is being increased and it's going to show the bonus type, where it's coming from. And what you can do with this is you can look at your DC and you can figure out ways you can improve it. So if you know where all your DCs are coming from, you can look at uh, different areas of your character and how you can optimize that. So, hey, I looked at my, you can look at your, um, you know, maybe look at your, uh, your, your gear and you can look at, see how much of a gear bonus you're getting. And then you can look at the wiki and be like, oh, okay, there's a better, 
item out there so I can increase my DC that way. Maybe there's a uh, stunning plus 20 item or something and I'm only using a plus 16. I can increase my DC that way. You can also, when you calculate your DC, uh, this is something that's really useful because the game doesn't do this for you. Uh, there's no like in the characters chart there's no area where it actually says your DC which I don't know why it really should be there but it's not you actually have to kind of calculate it yourself and there's a lot of content in this game where uh, if, if you don't under, know this that a lot of the monsters have you know of course when the the developers design these dungeons they they say assign a certain uh, save so like a reflex save for example, two monsters in each dungeon. So once you go out and figure out, and a lot of players, while they don't publish this information as, as far as I, I'm aware, a lot of players go in and through testing can figure out what the saves are for different monsters in the dungeon. So once you know that, you can look at your DC and use this builder and calculate your DC, and you can come up with a character that has the DC you want. So say you want to run Reaper, you know, Reaper 1 or something and you know what the saves are for monsters in that dungeon, well, you can plan out your characters so that you have a DC that's good enough to uh, make it so your crowd control spells or your your tactics abilities or whatever hit on those monsters. So that's one thing that's really cool is it, you know, just understanding how to build your characters and it really helps you optimize your characters in this way. So it's really really good, really important. Um, for that. Uh, the other good thing that this build can, or this, this application can do, and this is something you've probably seen a lot if you read the forms on a regular basis, is it exports your character in a way, uh, your character stats and build in a way that's easily readable on the form. So you hit this form export option and it, and it spits out your whole build in a nice form formatted uh, nice form formatted uh, format <laughs> here. So I can take this, I can copy it, and I can paste this to the form, and it's already, it already has the proper uh, code here so that it copy and paste in a very clean, very good looking way. You can just copy, copy this, paste it to the form, DDO forum, or maybe your Gills, dis uh, well, actually it won't work in your Discord, but any other like forum and it's going to let people read your build easier and a lot of people like to do this on the character or on the class section of the forums um, ddo.com forums so that they can spread their build uh, maybe share it with other people or basically just get a critique so what i could do is i could take this build and I actually was thinking about doing this i might do that th this this week i could uh, but with this forum export option i could copy the build and paste it to the fighter forum on on the ddo.com forums and say hey guys uh, look at my build please critique it so i can improve it please give me any advice uh, you know from you players that run fighters more than i do so that's something that's really useful and something that people do a lot a, a lot so guys yeah again uh you know a shout out to maestrum for this or matrim uh, for making this character planner i can't this must have been a ton of work his manual is very large as well i mean this must have been a lot of work for him to do this so it's awesome that that players put in this kind of time into applications that help support the game um, so big shout out to him and again guys the link below is in the description if you want to download this and I'll also put a link uh, again to the forum post um, where basically if you have any technical questions or or anything like that I, I've seen him in that his particular thread on the forums responding so if you have any you know particular questions about the application about the program about the builder you can post in the forum there and I don't know if I, from what I've seen he'll probably get back to you and as far as I'm aware uh, this is being updated on a regular basis so as we get patches as we get more updates this should stay up to date you know I, I guess as long as Matrum is dedicated to, to doing that so guys that's gonna be it for this video I hope you all enjoyed uh, you all have a good one take care and use a character builder